Hey, this video explains how to easily and efficiently update your sale prices. So if I go into inventory and I will choose a predefined filter I created earlier called vendor price update and that simply filters a list to contain a vendor and I'll just type in FID here. So I've got a single vendor because they maybe this vendor has told us they're increasing our costs. So and the columns I'm showing are only the ones that pertain uh, to my new pricing. So I'm going to update my price one and two. So it looks like in most cases I never had a sell price two. Uh, and my sell price one needs updating. So I've created this list. I'm going to export it. I'm going to save that to vendor prices. Open the file with Excel. And I will just maximize this out. Make that a little smaller. I'm going to add two new fields here, new cell one, new cell two. And here in this column, I'm going to increase my prices by 5% for all accessories. So you can see this product code was sorted by product code when I exported it. So this one's going to equal our current cell price times 1.05. And the new sell price here, we don't have a sell price uh, in here in this column, so we're going to uh, add a margin to this one. So we're going to go equals, and we're going to take our current cost and go times 1.30 for a 30% markup. And then we're going to copy all those down for the accessories. And then for equipment, the remainder of them, I'm going to increase this by 2%. So this one's going to be equals and our current sell price times 1.02 and then here we're going to mark this up by 20 percent so this one equals and we take our current cost times 1.2 and then we'll just copy those down to the remainder of the rows then we're going to oops, flip it over we're going to format these now to make it two decimal places. Okay, and then we're going to save this sheet, save as, we call it new vendor prices, and save it. Okay, so we've got that all saved. I'm going to go back to Spire and go Tools, Import, and we've already predefined the import layout. We've got another video on how to define this, but simply just to say that we've taken each of the fields from the spreadsheet and match them up with a corresponding field in Spire. And here, the ones we're using are warehouse, part number, the unit measure, the selling price, uh, which this one here, if I turn off the header row, you'll see it's called new sell off the spreadsheet header. But we ticked off header row because we don't want, we don't act, want to actually import that header row. All right, so now we're going to import these. It imported 63 records. We close that off. And this is all saved for next time. It's, it's got a name that we've saved it. We've called it uh, Vendor Price INI right there. So we, we can recall that anytime. And if we just uh, refresh this list, and we'll go to FDI, we'll see now we have increased column one and we've added a column two price to it. Very simple, very efficient.